Assalam o Alaikum, Grade Seven. How are you all? I am sure that you have done your work on the topic adverb, and now I am going to teach you about conjunction, another topic from grammar tree book. Okay, so let's see its definition first. I am sure that have you read, you have read conjunction in Grade Six in your previous classes. So we will explore it further. We will explore it more. Now look, a conjunction is a word or a group of words means it's not only one word. It might be a group of words that are used to connect words, phrases, and clauses. So let's see the examples. Sara and Ali are school captains. Here, the word "and" is connecting Sara and Ali. Two words, two nouns. Okay. Look at next sentence. He takes medicine once in the morning and once at night. Now, be very careful and look. What is adverb and? And it is connecting two phrases: once in the morning and once at night. So we use adverb. Uh, we use conjunction not only to join two words, two. Phrases. These are prepositional phrases. Okay. Now look at next sentence. Her work is slow. This is an independent clause, main clause. It can stand on its own. It is making sense if we don't have the other part of the sentence. Now look next sentence. She will finish it on time. Don't look at the uh, first part. Just focus on this. She will finish it on time. This sentence is also making sense on its own, but if we join two sentences, two main clauses with a word, that word is called conjunction. Now we are joining this. Look, her work is slow, but she will finish it on time. So this sentence is giving contradictory uh, information about the first one like her work is slow when someone is slow so we know that they are not going to complete their work on time but there is something special about this girl that even though she is slow her work is slow but she will finish it on time and i believe that you will you are the same okay and you are not slow you are my superhero so you complete your work on time and you will complete these works homeworks also on time and i would love to check your homework when you will be back okay look at next sentence i saw the door locked when i came back now look at this i saw the door locked if we do, don't join, don't consider this phrase, this clause. So look at this. I saw the door locked. It is giving sense. It is making sense on its own. So when we join this, when I came back. So the word when, it is conjunction. And I came back. When I came back. When I saw, came back, then I saw the door. Okay, now look at this part. When I came back. Forget the first, forget about the first part of the sentence. When I came back, does it make sense on its own? Is it making sense? When I came back, information is incomplete. You need more information to understand this. When I came back, what happened? Means there is there something happened after coming back. But when I came back, we are unable to grasp the understanding. What happened to grasp the action? So that's why it is called dependent clause or dependent uh, dependent clause because it depends on the main clause. Okay, it depends on the independent clause. So independent clause can stand on its own, can stand alone, but Dependent clause always need independent clause to give the complete information about action or about anything in the sentence. We are going to learn about different kinds of conjunctions. Isn't it surprising that adverb has also different kinds and conjunction also has different kinds? Yes, it's interesting and we are learning more information about conjunction. We are learning conjunction in detail because we have grown big now. We are in grade seven. 
सो लेट्स डिस्कस द थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ कंजंक्शन कोऑर्डिनेटिंग कंजंक्शन एज नेम रिवीलिंग नेम इज सजेस्टिंग दैट दीज टाइप ऑफ कंजंक्शन आर यूज टू कनेक्ट मेन क्लोजेज ऑफ सेम लेवल टू डिफरेंट सेंटेंसेज ऑफ सेम लेवल एंड द वर्ड्स आर बर्थ एंड और नॉर सो वी कैन यूज आई डिडेंट रिटर्न माई फ्रेंड्स बुक बट शी वॉज सो काइंड शी टोल्ड मी टू डू इट लेटर सो वी हैव यूज बर्थ इन टू डिफरेंट टू बोथ सेंटेंसेज हैव सेम लेवल नेक्स्ट लर्न अबाउट नेक्स्ट काइंड कॉरेलेटिव सो as name suggesting it comes in pairs like both and when we use both and and in the same sentence so it shows that both part of sentences have same level okay not only but also again they use they are used in pairs and they also tell us that that both part of sentences have same level either or so we can use like you should either tell your parents or inform the police okay so choice you have choice between two now let's learn about third type subordinating as name suggesting in this type we connect one main clause as i told you here and one dependent clause one independent clause and other dependent clause so in subordinating we connect two clauses where one is independent clause and other is dependent so we use the word because although until where to join them like here we have used when okay next kinds of subordinating conjunctions and this list is not final you have to explore you have to find out more words okay so let's learn about kinds of subordinating conjunction we further have kinds of subordinating conjunction look what is first kind conjunction of manner so it is very easy we have learned about adverbs so conjunctions which are used to introduce the adverb clause of manner they are called conjunction of manner same conjunction of place the words which are used to introduce the adverb clause of place they are called conjunction of place next conjunction of time we have read the adverb of times so the conjunction the words which we used to introduce the adverb clause of time they are called conjunction of time as the name suggesting the words which are used to introduce the adverb clause of time they are called conjunction of time like since okay conjunction of purpose as name suggesting that the words that are used to connect the clauses showing purpose so that such type of words we use conjunction of condition in the sentence where we have condition in sentence so we use the words like if okay so if is conjunction of condition next conjunction of reason so if we want to give the reason and tell so we use the word since as a conjunction okay since he asked me for the help but i could not do so so you are giving the reason by using the word since in this sentence conjunction of consequence introduce to tell us about the consequence happened in a sentence so we use the word so that okay now conjunction of comparison the words which we use to compare the things like he is as beautiful as moon so as is conjunction okay so that's all from my side wishing you best of luck have a good time stay safe allah hafiz